To tell the tale of Mil Slobach and Sven Lesveg, we must begin in Europe, a land nestled between the acrid desert wasteland of Africa, the hideous insulting tundra of Antarctica, the decrepit hedonistic den of corruption known as Asia, and the Pacific Ocean, a wanton cesspool filled only with unfeeling fish and vomit. Literally hundreds of years old, Europe is a land known for its culture, its food, and its people. Born in Europe, Neil Slobach was also raised in Europe, and also lives there today, as a European with European citizenship. Sven Lesveg, on the other hand, was also born and raised in Europe, but he also lives there, in Europe. Sven Lesveg and Neil Slobach have since become two of the toppermost directors of European pornography. You will be doing the piano. We will be doing the filming. Now, when we are done with the filming of the piano, you will go home. So it's going to be pornographic? Yeah. 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 Oh, but I had a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful childhood in Europe. And uh, in also an adult in Europe. Also, I did. And am. Um, yeah. Well, hello, piano. Piano. Film expert and pediatric physician, Chillington Norris Booth. You see, and this is important to note, what the canon of Lesbian and Slovak has actually been able to achieve or accomplish is the capture of sexual intercourse on film or celluloid. Yeah, so what we do when we are filming the uh, piano is we tell the pianos to our uh, piano to each other uh, and then we, uh, we film it. Yeah. Okay. okay, so like this on the head. <laughs> well, that will look good though. I think. Okay, do you have the uh, the uh, recorder going? Can you see them? Okay, and action! P porno. Porno him in the mouth. Yeah, you need to porno him more. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay, so yeah, yeah. Now you, now you porno him. Oh, good, good, uh, it's good. It does. It looks. It looks very special today. I, oh, that is nice. No, no. Yeah. Pour no him in the mouth. Oh, yes, oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. That's good. That's good. Now, now we want you to to no stop pornoing. Stop pornoing. Now, now start pornoing again. See, what you simply must understand is that. Uh, when the camera of uh, Lesvege and Slovak is rolling, there is generally, generally I say, sex happening in front of it. People say I look disturbingly like a child. Which is strange because I am not a child. I am European. <laughs> I am European. It's, it's true. true. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. The piano. Finish, finish up. Come on. <laughs> now you, now you piano, piano all over. Piano all over her. Oh. Now, now piano his piano. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that's good. That's oh, good. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Oh, oh. One thing you can say about Sven and Nils as directors is that they definitely make porno. And I know this because I've been in them before. And when you're in porno, you know you're in porno, my friend. I think you should shave your porno. Yeah, Sean Piano is in style this month. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why are you yelling? I don't know! I'm European! <laughs> yeah, I was in one of their films once. <laughs> Pretty pornographic. Uh, I think it was a... <clears throat> I think it was a Tuesday. Okay, so we would we would really like to continue with the uh, the making of the piano. Yeah, yeah. Making the piano is mm, 
how you say <laughs> I don't know. I'm from Europe. <laughs> European. I was having dinner with let's say at a restaurant. And at this restaurant where we were having dinner, we were having a conversation. And in this conversation, Les Vegg said to me, Chaddington, when I am making my films, never do I feel more like I am participating in the art of producing pornography. And I listened to him when he told me this, and when he finished speaking, I nodded. In a world filled with pornographic material, literature, architecture, and oceans, Slobatch and Lesveg, these two stalwart European men, will continue to film pornographic material and sell to those who might want to purchase it well into the future. Or perhaps only into the near future. This is Alistair Cookington Ham, speaking into a microphone, saying, in the immortal words of Sir Arthur McConan Doyle, lest he be judged, for he might be judged in twain. Good night, and good night.